Hello and hi, welcome back to Educate WordPress where we talk everything and all about WordPress. I'm Aisha and in this video, I'm going to tell you how you can add a cookie notice onto your WordPress website. So cookies are basically something that remembers a user in the website. So when a user logs in, there might be login details or even the shopping cart or address, all those things are uh, pre-saved in the website so that the next time the user vis uh, visits, those details are pre-filled and used uh, for a smooth experience. So in some uh, in some uh, po privacy policy, uh, uh, it's compiled that you need to uh, mention the users that what are the details that you are uh, making the users accept. So for that, we use the cookie notice. So uh, you must have seen various website having a cookie notice in the banner, in a pop up, uh, etc. So we're going to add it and let's see how it's done. So I'm going to go to uh, dashboard and install a plugin for this install and add new so here i'm going to search for cookie notice you can see various plugins available so i'm going to use this plugin of gdpr cookie policies uh, this one so this has almost 90000 plus uh, 900000 plus active installations and we're going to install this Once installed, uh, we can uh, actually redeem all these things and it's very easy uh, with this plugin. So there are two two uh, uh, prodigies that you need to know. First one is GDPR, another one is CCPA. So let's see what are this uh, those two knobs that you need to be aware of. So here uh, we have enabled the cookie. You can turn off whenever you want. And then there is a GDPR and CCPA. So GDPR is a uh, privacy uh, policy that uh, is uh, ap applicable for the European countries. So this is uh, it's called the General Data Protection Regulation. So uh, if uh, for a Californian citizen, uh, for a European citizen, uh, you need to uh, enable this uh, uh, in order to browse it. So that uh, otherwise you might be sued if uh, someone was not uh, accepting this GDPR norm and then there is CCPA that's for the Californian uh, Consumer Privacy Act so this is for the uh, you people of California so that they need to accept that uh, and know what are the policies that you are complying for so you can choose whichever you want uh, it's always better to uh, choose uh, both, uh, uh, both of them or you can just go for GDPR as it co uh, complies uh, both so for CCPA and GDPR, there is some extra settings. Uh, you can enable the CCPA notice separately also. So I'm going with the GDPR right now. And then there is auto hide accept cookie bar after delay. Uh, like uh, you can uh, like when a user is not accepting uh, after a delay, uh, it automatically accept uh, that you can uh, do this. And then there is what are the time that it should be uh, hidden that you can also uh, write from here. Okay, then there is auto scroll, auto hide the cookie bar. If the user scrolls, you can uh, also uh, do that. If you, uh, if uh, it can automatically accept when the user scroll through a website. Then there is other uh, options to reload a scroll accept event. Then there is reload accept button click, and then uh, reload after rejection button uh, click. Uh, yeah, you can just not uh, choose to do that as reloading will take time. And then there is. Uh, I think we have saved the data. Yeah, I have to update the settings here. Then there is cookie uh, customized cookie bar. Like what are the uh, headings that you need? You can uh, do it over here. You can add some heading like cookie notice. Uh, you can leave it blank as well. Uh, then there is the uh, uh, there is the HTML uh, thing. Uh, you can, if you are uh, good with this, you can uh, customize the uh, font, etc. From here, and this is the date. This is the data, so you can edit it however you want. Uh, it's always uh, uh, used. The, this is a common, commonly used one. You can make it fancy, or you can do whatever you want with that. Uh, and then uh, there is cookie uh, bar colors. Like you can choose whatever color you want. Uh, for that like uh, to choose your like to match your website obviously then 
color then there is font whichever font you want you can just choose that and then there is cookie bar shown as you can shown as a banner banner will be available here in the down part then as a pop-up uh, it will pop up uh, as a, a widget then also you can choose as a widget uh, from where you want to uh, choose it next next whichever fields fit you can add uh, add it i'm just going to uh, add it in the uh, banner and you can choose where uh, you want to do that in the header or footer or uh, you can select that and also you can select if it should be animated or not on loading and on height i'm going to update the setting as well and uh, revisit consent so that when the uh, user re uh, revisits your website you want to accept the accept the cookies again or not you can choose it from here it's always uh, advisable to not do that uh, you can just accept it once and that's done over here and then update the settings so here i'm going to see uh, what are the uh, available thing here so you can see that the button is over here the cookies uh, button is here but we don't have uh, like learn more option from here so i'm going to do that again and you can uh, customize it uh, as i said uh, I have given in the top. I'm going to give it in the footer. I'm going to update this. Oh, since we have uh, selected uh, that uh, revisit consent is not there, I'm going to enable that one as well. I'm going to update the setting. And here you can see that there is a manage consent option so that uh, this thing will appear over here. So here you can see the cookie settings and you can uh, also see the accept button. And uh, there are other options as well of customizing button like whatever you want to uh, customize like accept you can i agree uh, you can add something like that then there is text color background color you can choose that as well then there are many other options to reject button you can add a reject button here and then the settings button here and you can also add a link uh, show as a link and the read more link that uh, this is very important you can uh, generate uh, a content of cookie policies page here from here itself and if you uh, you must have a privacy policy page or, uh, also if you have one you can add the pri uh, you can redirect the uh, consent page over there so this is my page so it will directly take into uh, that page right uh, so uh, so you can update that as well from here then there are some advanced settings uh, to reset the values and also also you can upgrade it to premium there are some other uh, uh, other features available in the premium option then uh, let's go to the uh, uh, cookie list and the policy generator all of the options that are available so you can add the consent uh, policies over here uh, giving uh, add new you can add a cookie policy and uh, add it like what if you have a custom cookie type you can add it over here and uh, you can just update it and publish then there is a cookie generator, a policy generator. So you can uh, automatically generate. So they give a basic template so that uh, you can just copy it and paste on your uh, privacy policy page. So that when the when the user click on learn uh, learn more, uh, you will be taken into the uh, terms and condition page, and you can just paste it over there. So this is the basic uh, thing. You can uh, choose to ignore whatever you want and what you don't want and you can uh, just update it then there are some other options which is not necessary and necessary part uh, you can choose to uh, do this and you can just ignore it as ever you want so that's it uh, you can see that when uh, when you enter the page you can see the manage concern here so this is how your cookie notice will be available and you will be take once upon cooking settings you will be taken to the settings page and you can accept the cookie here and that's it that's how you can add a cookie consent page and it's very simple uh, you can uh, basically choose to ignore all the extra settings or if you have a very big site where many much uh, users and all you can uh, you can add uh, the extra uh, security for your website so that's it that's all about today's video we'll see you in another video bye